Next week, Proposition A of the ECISD bond will endure the critical eye of voters. Part of the $424 million prop is aimed at a new middle school in West Texas and sweeping maintenance across the district. Many voters probably haven't had a chance to see the requested maintenance firsthand. Today, CBS 7's Hannah Brock takes us inside Bonham and Nimitz Middle Schools, as well as the details on their infrastructure. She joins us with more. Hannah? Well, students and staff at Bonham face issues with electric, plumbing, and HVAC systems that affect them every day. In the Bonham Middle School auditorium, students play amid water damaged ceilings. Back rooms used for tutoring show how the condensation from the AC, the aging sewage and water system, and a damaged roof combine to create such conditions. Some of the ceiling flakes on the floor. So Bonham is a, is a good reflection of what we have throughout the district, the different types of systems that we get calls on. The outdated plumbing leads gym students to avoid showering. The water pressure is low, there's no hot water, and when the showers do run, they don't drain properly. Sometimes they're manually pumped so the water doesn't stand. Unusable showers in some areas have turned to storage units. Yes, we might be able to patch them up here and there, but overall, we'll, we would need to address that plumbing system. Bonham's power circuit often shorts, leaving teachers repeatedly resetting it to keep the school's power on. The school's elevator is broken, which confines students and teachers with disabilities to the first floor. Some of their fire alarms don't work. ECISD staff say that's not unique to Bonham. The district handles about 1,200 maintenance requests per month. The district's done the best that it can, the best that it's been able to do with what it has. Uh, and at this point, when we're having to do that many repairs or that many replacements, it does. It, you, you have to go, well, how do I get this done with the current budget that we have? Who gets to be behind? who is going to suffer because we didn't replace this system. Each of the six middle schools in the district are more than 60 years old, like Nimitz, where the campus has 18 portable classrooms due to overcrowding. We're looking at schools that were built in a time where our populations of our communities were a lot smaller, therefore the populations of kids were smaller, and we all see the increase in population just as we drive down the street. There are 158 portable classrooms in the district. 60 of them are on middle school campuses. You start to do the math on that is that's another middle school in itself, just on portables. Magellan says the portables are a maintenance problem themselves because they're not meant for long-term use. Olga Mejia is a former ECISD parent turned grandparent. She says her grandkids tell her about stresses at school. They say it's just overcrowded and it's overwhelming on how they, you know, it's overcrowded in the, in the hallways. It, and they, they tend to get to class late because of... Sarah Moore says middle schools face aging infrastructure plus overcrowding. It just, uh, if the hallways are crowded already and you have those kind of things going on, it just compounds the issue for the students. Part of Proposition A is asking for millions to complete this kind of maintenance at many schools that each have unique needs and varying degrees of repair. It also asks for a new middle school in West Odessa, among other expenses. And for a detailed list about the repairs needed at each school, you can head to ECISD's website for a full breakdown. Reporting in Odessa, I'm Hannah Brock, CBS 7 First Alert News.